Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Listen, this time I'm in Whole Foods. Y'all oh, listen, it should be a crime. It should be a crime. Do you hear me? It should be a crime that food is this high. I'm over here like in the dairy department now, but I literally um, just left the meat department, y'all, and chicken. Like, let's say uh, six boneless, skinless chicken breasts, right? Like $12, $13. Did you just hear what I said? Hold on. Y'all might not really be able to hear me, okay? Hey, hey, y'all, listen, thanks for coming back to the channel. Listen, it should be a crime. It should be a crime, y'all, just how expensive food is getting. How much is food in your area? Now, I'm over here. I'm on a different aisle now. I'm on, like, the juice aisle. But I literally, uh, as I was saying, I just left the meat department, y'all, for, like, six boneless, skinless chicken breasts, like, $12, $13. What? Yes. That's how much it is in my area, okay? If it's organic, it costs even more. So, it's crazy, y'all. Um, I saw like a big, like a family pack of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. That was like $30. It's just really, it's, it's getting out of hand to the point where we need some real solutions. So, the question I want to ask you is, what is the real solution in solving uh, inflation? Okay, food for many people, whether you want to believe it or not, food is becoming unaffordable, okay? Um, whether you have a small family in your household or whether you have a large family, food is literally, I'm watching it happen, y'all. It seems like food is becoming unaffordable. Let me see if I can just go back over here and show y'all real quick just how much it don't make sense. And it's not only with meats, okay? It's with everything else. Um, and it's not just because I'm in this one store. Now, I know someone may say, okay, Andrea, you're in Whole Foods. Of course, it's going to cost more. No, it, it costs more every, at every store, okay? You know, it just depends on how you want to eat. Now, um, you all do your research, okay? Chick-fil-A and uh, their, their recent decision to change their chicken sandwich, the type of chicken that they use, that was even more of an eye opener for me because I was like, okay, well, what about, because I buy chicken in the store, right? And I was like, okay, well, what about the chicken in the store? How can we know if the chicken that we're buying in the store comes from a, a manufacturer or, you know, a place where uh, they're using chickens that have antibiotics? So one company that I did some research on and I'll, I buy their chicken products quite often is uh, Bell and Evans. Okay, I'm gonna show you what their uh, packages look like. <clears throat> but they actually have uh, statements on their website. Okay, if you just look up Bell and Evans, but this is what it looked like right here, y'all. They actually have chicken raised without antibiotics. They don't have all that other stuff in there. Um, they even put on the label that it's fed and all um, vegetarian diet, okay? So what I'm saying is, when you go to the store, and you see all these companies, see all these meat companies behind me, all these brands, you may want to research the brand and see exactly uh, what type of products, what they put in their products, y'all. I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying, y'all. And you know I've talked about it here on the channel. We're living in a time now where we have to do our research even more and more. I got to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to make it seem like I'm sneezing over the food people got it by. But y'all, listen, tell me, do you agree or disagree? We are literally living in a time where we have to do the research on the food we buy. Look, even some of this frozen stuff, y'all. Remember when I told y'all a lot of the frozen, um, a lot of the recall items are the items that are like frozen, prepared foods, right? Um, you got to do your research. Some people say, well, Andrea, I'm not eating, I'm not eating any meat. Some people say this. They'll say, Andrew, I'm not even, I'm not eating any meat unless it comes from a bone. Like, unless it has, a, not comes from a bone, but unless it has a bone in it. Because guess what, y'all? They're adding in this uh, lab-grown food, lab-grown chicken, lab-grown seafood. All of this stuff they're mixing in, okay? And, in my opinion, okay, I don't want to, you know, 
you have you certainly entitled to your own opinion but it seems like um when you look at what's happening instead of providing real solutions to like our food crisis food shortage food crises and food shortages it seems like instead what they're doing is um they're making more and more of a food shortage and food crisis so much so that the only solution solution right solution in quotation marks um would be to usher in this lab-grown meat lab-grown food all this other kind of stuff okay so just be on the lookout for that but it's getting frustrating y'all now look at this y'all and i'm gonna end the video with this look at the cost of olive oil why is olive oil so expensive now of course the better quality you're gonna pay more but look at this right here y'all 19 this is 20 dollar bottle of olive oil um 16.9 fluid ounces this is 20 dollars some of these are like 30 dollars it's crazy 25 dollars almost uh it, it's just crazy um what are people to do what literally what are people to do people that are trying to make ends meet people that are just getting by i think about people who are even on a fixed income you know there are uh, look y'all the bottle that i want to buy look um, 849 okay now that is cheaper than uh, another one that I buy sometime it's like $13 it used to be I remember the time it used to be half the cost it is now but I think that due to the weather or something they had going on uh, overseas where they produced these olives um, there was a situation where I think it um, due to the weather conditions it messed up the uh, olive groves out there but you know, people on a fixed income who, while their expenses have increased, ex expenses including their groceries, their income has not increased to, um, you know, keep up with everything. So it's just, it, it's just really, it's, it's really shocking. Okay, I don't know if you have been to the grocery store lately. I would like to think so because don't we all need groceries to eat? Um, you know, it's only so much of our own food that we can grow. But y'all, I'm telling you. Do more research on your food, whatever the brand is, okay? Even if it's a box of chicken broth, okay? And I'm just using that as an example. You got to do your research, know where your food is coming from. Not only know where your food is coming from, but knowing what's in your food is very, very important, especially in the current times we're living in, okay? I just wanted to tell you that. Listen, have a wonderful weekend. We know Monday is this um, total solar eclipse, okay? I try to go live uh, <clears throat> Saturday night sometime and, uh, you know, just kind of review some things, some things that we all need to do to be, to be prepared. But uh, stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to update you all. Again, thank you so much for supporting me here on Andrea Speaks TV. And I'll be back with more news and commentary you can use.